ini termasuk orang-orang yang suka membuang minyak goreng Jadi setelah memasak dibuang sembarangan gitu Nah sebaiknya Anda hati-hati dengan bahaya yang ada Karena minyak sisa menggoreng lebih baik didaur ulang Pemirsa Sungai Deli tercemar minyak goreng Pasca kebakaran gudang pengolahan minyak goreng di Medan Deli Air Sungai Deli berdadak berwarna hitam Akibat tercemar minyak bercampur sisa kebakaran yang dibuang langsung Melalui pipa pembuangan ke sungai Pasca kebakaran hebat melanda gudang pengolahan minyak goreng pada Senin lalu, pabrik pengolahan yang masih membersihkan gudang diduga sengaja membuang minyak melalui pipa pembuangan ke Sungai Deli. Sebab permukaan air sungai di kawasan dermaga pasar terapung siring Piare Tendian ini menandakan masih terdapat cairan minyak di atas permukaan air yang hanyut di Sungai Martapura. Sungai yang menjadi sumber pengairan perkebunan warga di Mesuji Lampung berubah menjadi hitam pekat dan kekuningan. Ya, sungai diduga tercemar limbah pabrik pengolahan sawit. Air sungai ini berwarna hitam pekat dan sebagian berwarna kuning diduga tercemar limbah dari salah satu pabrik pengolahan kelapa sawit di Desa Mulia Agung dan Desa Agung Batin, Mesuji Lampung. Limbah yang diduga sengaja dibuang ke sungai merusak lingkungan dan membuat ikan di dalamnya banyak yang mati. Indonesia, known for the culinary. Indonesian industries, especially in the food and restaurant sectors, are having a rapid growth. Every year, many restaurant, food factories, even street vendors are operating and contribute significantly to the country's economy. However, This growth are also has a negative impact for increasing the volume of the litter, especially the waste cooking oil. Waste cooking oil, or we could say used cooking oil, is an edible vegetable oil that has been used for cooking or frying which no longer suitable for us to consume. Waste cooking oil is one of the top pollutant that we often found in our environment because cooking oil is one of the basic necessities that is often used by Indonesian people. Every year, waste cooking oil are having an increase in contribute waste materials. In national range, The potential production of used cooking oil can reach 1.2 million kiloliters per year, which is produced only from the household sector, which means that when combined with the amount of used cooking oil produced from sectors other than households, it can reach more than 1.2 million kiloliters per year. Used cooking oil is a material that can pollute the environment. Therefore, this waste must be disposed of and managed properly. There are still many people in Indonesia who don't know how to waste the used cooking oil so that it doesn't pollute the environment. There are still many people who throw the used oil by pouring it into drain pipes and then flowing it into the rivers. Or, usually, some of the household waste is transported to the landfill. The landfill in Indonesia has an open damping system, or simply left in an open space without any treatment. The waste management system at the landfill will certainly be slow to decompose so that the waste continues to accumulate and contaminate the soil. Improper management of waste cooking oil in food industries and the use of retort technology in food processing have devastating environmental impacts including other problems and oil film formation on water bodies, which increase biological oxygen demand. Waste cooking oil is generated daily and discarded into the environment, leading to environmental pollution, blocked drains, and contamination of terrestrial and aquatic habitats. However, If this waste managed properly, 
Used cooking oil can also be used, one of which is to be a material for making fertilizer. Indonesia are having an increase in the farm industry every year, especially sheep farmer. The growth of a sheep farmer can cause an increase in volume of sheep feces. The enhancement volume of sheep feces should be managed. One of the products that can be produced for managing sheep feces is to be a fertilizer. In Indonesia, the government has reduced subsidized fertilizer for farmers due to the crisis from the impact of COVID-19. This problem makes the farmers having a rareness of fertilizer for their needs. For these issues, we found a solution by combining used cooking oil with sheep feces, which both of it have excessive quantities. This innovation can reduce the number of waste cooking oil and increase the value of the oil as a nutrient in the fertilizer. Used cooking oil can provide a stable energy source and plays a role in the formation of plant cell membranes, which can produce fertilizer with high nutritional value. Tani kecewa dengan Presiden Joko Widodo. Hal tersebut bermula ketika Presiden Joko Widodo menjelaskan pemicu pupuk langka dan mahal disebabkan karena bahan produksi pupuk yang berada di Ukraina dan Rusia. Along with the increasing need for fertilizers, Indonesia also faces the challenge of fertilizer scarcity, which can hamper the agricultural sector. To overcome these various problems, Innovations are needed in the treatment of sheep fecal waste. One of the solutions that can be applied is the creation of sheep pens in the form of collected cage. In this system, solid fecal waste and feed residues are connected through a channel to a manure separation machine to separate the liquid and solid feces from the sheep manure. The solid feces that have been separated are then fed into the fecal crater, which is equipped with a measuring device for the ratio between feces and used cooking oil. This process is integrated with the Internet of Things or IoT system to monitor the mixing of used cooking oil with the feces according to the standards. Sheep feces are known to be difficult to process because of their hard texture and are mixed with liquid feces, which can take a long time to decompose naturally. This long drying process makes handling sheep feces a challenge in itself. Therefore, we created the biofertilizer generator. The biofertilizer generator is a breakthrough that combines two machines connected to a collected sheep pen. This innovation aims to speed up the decomposition in sheep feces and increase farmers' income by producing high-quality manure efficiently. There are stages of the biofertilizer generator working system. The first one is Sheep feces and feed residues are collected in a collected pen. This pen is designed to facilitate the collection of fecal waste and feed residues. The benefits are to improve the efficiency of fecal waste treatment by collecting waste in one place. The solid fecal waste and feed residues are connected through a channel to a screw press manure separator machine. This machine separates water and solid matter from the sheep manure. The solid feces that have been separated are fed into the fecal chopper. This machine is equipped with a measuring device for the ratio between feces and used cooking oil. 
the ratio of sheep feces to used cooking oil are 4 to 1. After the composting process is completed, it is immediately channeled to a container that can see the level of maturity of the fertilizer. The sensors are included in the pH and temperature conditions, so that this can be monitored on the biofertilizer application before fertilizer harvesting is carried out. With the innovation of making the use of technology in waste treatment is essential in an effort to create a cleaner and more sustainable environment. The use of fecal crushing machines and the addition of used cooking oil in the production of fatty acid-based organic fertilizers aims to create a more effective and efficient solution in the treatment of livestock waste. This innovation contains benefit in several sectors. The first one is for the infrastructure which can encourage to develop the innovation that are related to the waste management. Next is the benefit in raw material sector, which providing raw materials for the production of an organic fertilizer to land farmers. The third one is from the economy sector, which could increasing the sheep farmer's income and can reduce the land farmer in buying other commercial fertilizers. Also, there are benefits in agriculture and milieu sectors, which are accelerating the composting process of livestock waste, improving the quality of organic fertilizers, and reducing environmental pollutions from ammonia gas produced by livestock waste, as well as reducing household waste through the mixing of waste cooking oil.